Hello and welcome. In today's tutorial, we have a system of logarithmic equations to solve, and we are going to begin with a substitution. Now, let log x be equal to a. And of course, from this statement, we have that 10 to the power a is equal to x. Likewise, let log y be equal to b. Once more, from this statement, we have that 10 to the power b is equal to y. Now, with these two substitutions, the first equation is going to be 3 to the power a is equal to 2 to the power b. The next thing we'll do is to take log of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have log 3 to the power a is equal to log 2 to the power b. And of course, here we apply the power rule of log readings and we bring down both a and b to become multipliers. That is, we have a times log 3 is equal to b times log 2. Now, if we divide both sides of this equation by log 3, we are going to have that a is equal to b times log 2 divided by log 3. Now, coming over to the second equations, with these two substitutions, we have 2 times, remember, x is now equal to 10 to the power a to the power log 2 is equal to 3 times y is now equal to 10 to the power b to the power log 3. Opening up this bracket, we have 2 to the power log 2 multiplied by 10 to the power a times log 2 because of course you know that when we have two powers like this we simply multiply the two of them so this is a log 2 is equal to 3 to the power log 3 multiplied by 10 to the power b log 3 but now let us look at this and let us look at this of course you know that you can write this as 10 to the power log 2 to the power a and we can write this as 10 to the power log 3 to the power b of course we have 3 to the power log 3 and here we have 2 to the power log 2 but now written in this way you know that 10 to the power log 2 is simply equal to 2. And 10 to the power log 3 is simply equal to 3. So this equation now becomes 2 to the power log 2 multiplied by 2 to the power a is equal to 3 to the power log 3 multiplied by 3 to the power b. Now, since these two have the same base, that is 2, we can add their exponents. So here we have 2 to the power a plus log 2 is equal to, the same thing happens here, 3 to the power b plus log 3. Now, we can take log of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have log 2 to the power a plus log 2 is equal to log 3 to the power b plus log 3. And once more, applying the power rule, we have that a plus log 2 multiplied by log 2 is equal to b plus log 3 multiplied by log 3. Opening up the brackets, we have a times log 2 plus log 2 times log 2 is log squared 2 is equal to b times log 3 
plus log 3 times log 3 is log squared 3. But let us remember that A is equal to B log 2 over log 3. That means that here we have B log 2 divided by log 3 multiplied by log 2 plus log squared 2 is equal to b log 3 plus log squared 3. And of course log 2 times log 2 is log squared 2. So here we have b log squared 2 plus log squared 2. This is over log 3 is equal to b log 3 plus log squared 3. Now let us bring this b term over to the left hand side of the equation. When we do that we have b log squared 2 over log 3 minus b log 3 is equal to log squared 3 minus log squared 2. Now we can factorize b out of this expression. When we do that, we have b into log squared 2 over log 3 minus log 3 is equal to log squared 3 minus log squared 2. Of course, you know that this is over 1. The next thing we are going to do is to combine these two fractions into one single unit. Here we have b into log squared 2 times 1 is log squared 2 minus log 3 times log 3 is log squared 3 divided by log 3 times 1 is log 3. And this is equal to log squared 3 minus log squared 2. Now, of course, you know that log 2 and log 3 are constant terms. So we can find b in terms of both log 2 and log 3. All we have to do is to first of all multiply both sides of this equation by log 3. When we do that, we have log 3 and this goes. And then the next thing we have to do is to divide both sides of this equation by log squared 2 minus log squared 3. So here we have log squared 2 minus log squared 3. When we do that, this also goes. And we simply have that b is equal to this. But then look at the numerator and the denominator. We have log squared 3 minus log squared 2. And here we have log squared 2 minus log squared 3. Of course, you know that this over this is simply equal to minus 1. So we have that b is equal to minus 1 times log 3. And of course, applying the power rule of logarithms to this, we have that b is equal to log 3 to the power minus 1. And from our rules of indices, we know that this is equal to log 1 over 3. But now let us not forget that b is equal to log y. So we have that log y is equal to log 1 over 3. So of course, from here we have that y is equal to 1 over 3. Now to find a, we already know that b is equal to minus 1 times log 3. So from this, a is going to be equal to minus log 3 multiplied by log 2 divided by log 3. Now, this is going to cancel that to tell us that a is equal to minus log 2. 
once more applying the power rule this is equal to log 2 to power minus 1 and from our rules of indices 2 to power minus 1 is equal to 1 over 2 but let us remember that a is equal to log x so this is equal to log x of course when log 1 over 2 is equal to log x it simply means that x is equal to 1 over 2 so we found that x is equal to 1 over 2 and y is equal to 1 over 3 now to check our answer let us substitute half for x and 1 over 3 for y into these two equations and see if the equations are satisfied in the first equation we have 3 to the power log half is equal to 2 to the power log 1 over 3 now of course you know that this left hand side is the same as 3 to the power log 2 to the power minus 1 and you know that we can apply the power rule to this exponent when we do that we bring this minus 1 down to the front of the log term to become a multiplier and here we have 3 to the power minus 1 multiplied by log 2 of course you know that we can write this as 3 to the power minus 1 to the power log 2 and of course this is 1 over 3 to the power log 2 but now let us remember that 10 to the power log to be 10 of a number a is equal to that number a so what we are going to do now is that we are going to write 1 over 3 as 10 to the power log to be 10 of 1 over 3 and of course this is going to be raised to power log 2 but then also remember that when we have two powers like this we can switch their places when we do that this becomes 10 to the power log 2 raised to power log 1 over 3 but coming back to this rule you know that 10 to the power log to base 10 of 2 is simply equal to 2 so this is equal to 2 to the power log 1 over 3 which is exactly what we have on the right hand side so when x is equal to half and y is equal to 1 over 3 this first equation is satisfied now when we substitute these values into the second equation we have 2 times half to the power log 2 is equal to 3 times 1 over 3 to the power log 3 of course this is going to cancel this to give us 1 to the power log 2 and this is going to cancel this to also give us 1 to the power log 3 and of course you know that 1 raised to power log 2 is exactly the same as 1 raised to power log 3 so we have that when x is equal to half and y is equal to 1 over 3 the second equation is also satisfied and with that we come to the end of today's tutorial i hope you learned something new if you enjoy such content please subscribe to the channel leave us a like to support the channel thanks for watching and see you in the next video